Hi everybody, it's Angel's Chamber, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And I am back, and not only did I forget a measurement, I seem to have forgotten a lot of things on this card. So now I hope we have everything all laid out and ready to go. What I've learned is I should not be jumping on live after, say, 7 or 8 p.m. Central Time. So if you are ever watching and you see me do that, jump on and tell me to just put everything away, go relax, and go to bed. My brain is not fully functioning at this time. But I had this card that I wanted to share with you on Halloween, and the day just got away from me. So... Here we are, but I think I have everything that we need, I hope, maybe, and we'll just finish it up real quick. I am no further to knowing how to line things up than I was earlier, but. We're just going to do it. And what I did learn is that, yes, when you have your 1 and 7 eighths by 9 piece of cardstock, you need to score at 2, 2 and 3 fourths, 3 and a half, and 4 and a fourth. So that's where I went wrong with that. Now. Now I am going to be lining things up to get them all ready to go on here. And the bottom one will be the one with the sentiment. I'm, I told you I should not be allowed to do this at this time of night. Before we put them on our slider... We need to adhere them to the gorgeous green mats. So let's get that done real quick and then we can attach them to the waterfall mechanism. I love little monsters. These are so cute. And I love the Google eyes that you can get. But I don't think that will work so well in the waterfall part of the card. However, it will work great on the back. My wolf man. All right. There. Now we have the four. Um, stamped cards ready to put on the waterfall and you have to line them up the way you want them to go and so you just put a little adhesive at the top I'm going to put the words will be the last thing that come through and then we will have, I think, the zombie kid. And then the wolf man. And 
finally the monster. Without his horns, I tell you, this monster looks an awful lot like the monster on Abominable. All right. So there we have them. And now we can put the card together. Start with a gorgeous grape base, and I'll be putting on basic black card layer. The gorgeous grape is four and a quarter by five and a half, and the basic black layer is four by five and a quarter. Then I'm going to put some tear and tape on our strip of gorgeous grape that is one by four and a quarter. And I'm going to put it about three quarters of the way on there, pull the backing off. One thing I haven't set up in my office yet is a trash can. So that will definitely be happening before class. backing is not wanting to come off of this tarot tape. Hide those little edges of it and put it right about there. I'm going to take my circle punch. I'm using a one inch because that's what I have. And I'm just going to make a little area so that they know this is kind of where you pull. And then on the back, which is where we are going to be able to write a message, whatever. I'm gonna glue a piece of whisper white that is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then did not slide very well before it got stuck down. Well, that's all right. Whoever gets this card will just have to live with that. And then we're going to line up and punch out this side. a little bit difficult. Maybe we'll, oh, lost my paper. We'll wind it up this way and just punch it out because I know all three don't come out at the same time very well. Then I am going to Take my monster 
I would like to call him Mr. Abominable because that's what he reminds me of. And we're going to stamp him on the back. this over and finish the front. Take a piece of tear and tape and This will slide down through here. And we are going to want to put just a piece of tear tape about the width of the first of the squares right there. But before we tie that down, I'm going to grab my triple punch and punch a hole in the bottom of this because we're going to tie a ribbon through it. That was not centered, but today I don't care. And the way I do my ribbons, I don't know if you can see this, but I double my ribbon, just tie it in half, or fold it in half, and then I slip the end through the ribbon hole. ribbon is not quite so easy to pull. It's a little stiffer. But there we have our pull. Alright, now I'm going to thread that through here and get to the backing off of this tear and tape. And adhere the bottom to it. And then we have a cute interactive Halloween card. There you go, and it comes out at night, wishing you a haunted night. Celebrate if you dare. It could be for a birthday. It could be for just about anything you want. But And then I have a cute little monster on the back where I'm going to leave my message. And before this is posted on my blog... I will do a little bit of coloring in so you will get to see what it looks like with some color added. Although I think it's cute just the way it is. I'm going to put you back up for half a second. I see that Melinda's watching. Well, happy Halloween, Melinda. I hope you enjoyed this fun interactive card even though my mind is not all together tonight. So I will be back, and I hope you get your hands on the Christmas Time is Here suite and the new paper trimmer that are both come out tomorrow. 
if you're interested and I'll be putting some exciting cards from the Christmas Time is Here Suite and also there will be another waterfall card with the Gathering Together Suite sometime soon. I terrible my I'm glad you like it. I love interactive cards that have moving parts. And I will see you later. Bye.